Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, so we just wrapped up a semifinal game between Defiance and Paulding, and the winner there was Defiance with 95 points. Paulding was 70. That means Defiance will be moving on, taking on the winner of this game between Delphus Jefferson and Patrick Henry High Schools. Let's introduce you to our players joining us from Delphus Jefferson. We have Ben Kurth, Jason Ditto, Aaron Stant, and Lexi Carpenter. And Delphus is coached by John Beanie Cutter and Joshua Vasquez. Welcome back to all of you. Moving over to Patrick Henry now. We have Andrew Neese, Leah Johns, Neil Jakeway, and Nicholas Bosselman. And Patrick Henry is coached by Rick Fricke. Welcome back to you. All right, let's go now with our first two rounds. Our first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Get those buzzers ready. Please speak up loudly and clearly. I know you're a little nervous, but you have to speak up loudly for us to hear. All right, so question number one. How many parts of speech are there? Delphus. Five. Five is incorrect. So Patrick Henry, you have a chance here. Yes. Three. Three is also incorrect. Eight is the answer. Which African American broke the color barrier in baseball? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Uh, Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson is the answer. Give the common name for calcium carbonate. Time is up, teams. The answer is chalk. Question four. What genre of literature can be set in outer space, other planets, or yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Science fiction. Science fiction is correct. What Greek term means dance writing or arranging movements of dance? Yes, Patrick Henry. Choreography. Choreography is correct. Name the unit that carries inherited diseases. Patrick Henry. Genes. Genes is correct. Name two of the three leaders that met in Tehran in 1943 to plan. Yes, that would be Delphus. Franklin Roosevelt and Winston Churchill. You are correct. Very good. All right. Question eight. Give the term for one employed to run errands for members of Congress. Delphus Jefferson. Page. Page is the answer. Name the two sites that were the targets of atomic bombs in Japan. Delphus. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You are correct. And your final question in round one. In which book of the New Testament is Jesus' Sermon on the Mount? Delphus Jefferson. Matthew. Matthew is the answer there. All right, we have come to the end of round one between Patrick Henry and Delphus Jefferson, and we do have a tie, both with 40 points. In an earlier coin toss, Patrick Henry won the coin toss, and they deferred to Delphus Jefferson. So you will lead this round with five questions worth five points apiece. Please still buzz in with your answer, okay? Which author, who died in 1991, wrote The Grinch Who Stole Christmas? Yes. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss is correct. Give the five-letter word, meaning someone that holds on to money just to have it. The answer is miser. Identify the 12th U.S. president nicknamed Old Buena Vista. Yes. Zachary Taylor. Zachary Taylor is the answer. Name one of the two U.S. states with a smaller area than Puerto Rico. Yes. Rhode Island. Rhode Island is correct. 
And your final question, identify the person who specializes in the study of insects. The answer is entomologist. All right, Patrick Henry, it's your turn now. The buzzer's ready? Yep. Give the word having the Greek root for circular that is a book of facts. Yes. Um, encyclopedia. That is correct, encyclopedia. What was the world's tallest building when it opened in 1931? Yes. Sears Tower. That is incorrect, but I think I heard it mentioned over here. It's the Empire State Building. In what year was segregation ruled unconstitutional by the Supreme Court? Yes. 1964. It's actually 1954. What is the sum of the prime factors of 14? Yes. Nine. Nine is the answer. You have one question remaining here. Give the term meaning a group of atolls, reefs, seamounts, and islands. Yes. Archipelago. Archipelago is the right answer. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two. We are still tied with 55 points apiece, and we will be back to wrap up this exciting game right after the break. Don't go away. <laughs> Thank you.